Good morning, I'm Jitsel Puente with two works for you. Here are today's top stories. We're learning new details about the former Bixby bus driver accused of drunk driving on duty with students in the bus. Now, police say 64-year-old Donnie Cheatham had a blood alcohol level of 0.14. The legal limit is only 0.08. Officials say Cheatham drove both elementary and sec uh, secondary students on Thursday morning and all arrived safely to school. Officials say he could face more than 70 counts of child endangerment, one for every every student on his bus. A local woman who recently got back from teaching in China has been released from mandated quarantine. However, Kathy Esley says she will self quarantine for a few more days to ease the minds of people who do not think 14 days is long enough. Esley tells us she still has no symptoms of the coronavirus. And in case you missed this big announcement, American Airlines will be spending $550 million at Tulsa's maintenance facility. It was the largest single capital investment in Tulsa's history. The money will be used for a new hangar, base support building, and upgrades throughout that facility. Construction will begin early next year, with the investment taking about seven years to complete. Very exciting news here in Tulsa. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Showman. Hey, Kerrigan. Well, we are expecting beautiful conditions for this afternoon with temperatures rising into those lower 70s. Abundant sunshine for your Saturday with breezy winds at time 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the south. Gusts up to 25 miles per hour for later this afternoon. Going to be a great time to spend some time outdoors, maybe working in the yard or going out for a walk with the dog. Tonight seeing an increase in cloud cover with those winds continuing out of the south. Overnight lows going to stay mild in the lower 50s. 50s, 53 degrees for us here in Tulsa. For the week ahead, increased chance of rain as we head into the start of your work week. As a cold front passes through, dropping our high temperatures from 70s into those upper 50s. Wednesday through the end of your work week, we clear up and warm back up to near 70 on Thursday afternoon. All right, thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more updates throughout the day.